Now, executive orders associated with FEMA that would suspend the Constitution and Bill of Rights. These executive orders have been on record for nearly 30 years and could be enacted by the stroke of a presidential pen. Executive Order 10990 allows the government to take over all modes of transportation and control of highways and seaports. Executive Order 10995 allows the government to seize and control the communication media. Executive Order 10997 allows the government to take over all electrical power, gas, petroleum, fuels, and minerals. Executive Order 10998 allows the government to seize all means of transportation, including personal cars, trucks, or vehicles of any kind, and total control over all highways, seaports, and waterways. Executive Order 10999 allows the government to take over all food resources and farms. Executive Order 11000 allows the government to mobilize civilians into work brigades under government supervision. Think about that one. Executive Order 11001 allows the government to take over all health, education, and welfare functions. Executive Order 11002 designates the Postmaster General to operate a national registration of all persons. Executive Order 11003 allows the government to take over all airports and aircraft including commercial aircraft. Now look at this one. Executive Order 11004 allows the Housing and Financial Authority to relocate communities, build new housing with public funds, designate areas to be abandoned, and establish new locations for populations. Mm. Executive Order 11005 allows the government to take over railroads, inland waterways, and public storage facilities. Executive Order 11051 specifies the responsibility of the Office of Emergency Planning and gives authorization to put all executive orders into effect in times of increased international tensions and economic or financial crisis. Are you paying attention to that one? Executive Order 11310 grants authority to the Department of Justice to enforce the plans set out in executive orders to institute industrial support, to establish judicial and legislative liaison, to control all aliens, to operate penal and correctional institutions, and to advise and assist the President. Executive Order 11049 assigns emergency preparedness function to federal departments and agencies, consolidating 21 operative executive orders issued over a 15-year period. Executive Order 11921 allows the Federal Emergency Preparedness Agency, FEMA, to develop plans to establish control over the mechanisms of production and distribution of energy sources, wages, salaries, credit, and the flow of money in the U.S. financial institution in any undefined national emergency. It also provides that when a state emergency is declared by the President, Congress cannot review the action for six months. FEMA has broad powers in every aspect of the nation. General Frank Salzedo, Chief of FEMA's Civil Security Division, stated that in a 1983 conference that he saw FEMA's role as a new frontier in the protection of individual and governmental leaders from assassination and of civil and military installations from sabotage and or attack, as well as prevention of dissidents groups <clears throat> from gaining access to U.S. opinion or global audience in times of crisis. FEMA's powers were consolidated by President Carter to incorporate the following. The National Security Act of 1947, which allows for the strategic relocation of industries, services, government, and other essential economic activities, and to rationalize the requirements for manpower, resources, and production facilities. The 1950 Defense Population Act gives the President sweeping powers over all aspects of the economy. The Act of August 29, 1916 
authorizes the Secretary of the Army in time of war to take possession of any transportation system for transporting troops, material, or any purpose related to the emergency. The International Emergency Economic Powers Act enables the President to seize the property of a foreign country or national. These powers were transferred to FEMA in a sweeping consolidation in 1979. Now, once they actually get their emergency declared, convenient little emergency for them anyway, two very important operations will be cut loose. Operation Garden Plot and Operation Cable Splicer. Operation Garden Plot is for the roundup and control of American citizens and Operation Cable Splicer is for the orderly takeover of your state and local governments by the feds. These are real and they are documented. And of course these same lovely boys and girls over at FEMA have been nice enough to build us a whole bunch of concentration camps to go live in when their convenient little emergency arises. They don't care about you. They want to cull you. The elitist own documents admit they want to eliminate 80 to 90 percent of the population on this planet. You have a 90 percent chance of being killed. Do you understand that? You're as in as much danger as I am, as my friends are, as my allies are. You have just as much to lose in this as we do. Don't think you're going to get a free pass on any of this. So you see, ladies and gentlemen, this is not a conspiracy theory. It is conspiracy fact. Everything I just showed you is in the Federal Registry. It is the law of this land, and this is the blueprint for tyranny to destroy the United States as we know it and to merge it into a one-world supergovernment on behalf of the global puppet masters. Listen, we are not unpatriotic. We do not hate our country. We want to save this country. We want to take it back to the way it used to be when true freedom, or about as close to true freedom as you could have, reigned. See, a lot of you kids out there, you don't know what it is to be free. You don't know what it's like not to live in a country with all this oppressive legislation like what we have today. We are losing the country, folks. We don't want to live as slaves of a one-world government. It is important that you understand that these laws are in effect and that they are real. And it's not just my liberty that's threatened or people you don't like, it's you as well. We all have a lot to lose in this, and we have all got to unite together and fight together to stop them from destroying us. Thanks for watching. Take care.